the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 295, Mark 14 to 16. The last Passover and the first communion. Jesus spent his last hour with his disciples and took up the excruciating cross, then rose from the dead in three days as he had predicted. First point. Before being crucified, Jesus changed the 1,500-year tradition of Passover to Holy Communion. Two days before Passover, the Sanhedrin assembly came together to discuss a very important matter. They discussed killing Jesus, but then decided that they would not do so this Passover. They feared that if they killed him during Passover, Jesus' followers would riot against them. Whilst they were having this important meeting, Jesus predicted that he would take the cross during this Passover. Now, Jesus and his disciples prepared for the Passover feast. Passover had been the most important festival for the past 1,500 years. But before taking the cross, Jesus changed this tradition to the Holy Communion and introduced the official coming of the Kingdom of God. The traditional food for Passover was a year-old lamb, but this time Jesus prepared some bread and wine and fed it to the disciples, telling them that the wine was his blood and the bread was his body. From this point forward, Passover ended and it became the Holy Communion. The first Passover had occurred 1,500 years ago after Exodus. The second Passover was kept the following year by the Israelites in the desert. Afterwards, Passover was kept by King Hezekiah of South Judah in the Jerusalem Temple. Then, Passover was kept by King Josiah of South Judah in the Jerusalem Temple. Later, Passover was kept once the people returned from Babylon after the 70 years of captivity. The last Passover was kept by Jesus and his disciples. Second point, as Jesus started his public life, he prayed in the desert. And as he prepared to take the cross, he prayed at Gethsemane. After observing the last Passover with his disciples, Jesus headed towards Gethsemane to pray. When reading through the four Gospels, we can learn how busy Jesus was throughout his three-year public life. However, no matter how busy he was, Jesus always made time for prayer. To look at just the four instances when Jesus prayed, the first was before starting his public life when he prayed for 40 days in the desert. The second was before selecting his disciples. The third was after washing the feet of his disciples when he prayed for each of them. The fourth was the day before taking the cross and he prayed most sincerely to God. Jesus expressed the state of his mind to his disciples and he asked God to take away this cup of suffering if he could. We must also learn to pray like Jesus to ask for God's will first, rather than asking for what we want. Third point, the Sanhedrin assembly paid out an enormous sum of money to make Jesus take the cross. After praying in Gethsemane, Jesus was arrested by the Sanhedrin assembly. During this process, Judas Iscariot came. Peter sliced off one of the man's ear, and a young man had to flee because he had followed Jesus. Jesus' arrest was so fearful that all his disciples ran away. Even the brave Peter denied Jesus three times. All throughout the night, Jesus was questioned and mocked for being a blasphemer. 
At dawn, he was taken to Pontius Pilate to receive another trial. Pilate knew exactly why Jesus was sent to him. This was because the Sanhedrin assembly was jealous of him. Thus, Pilate tried to free Jesus by using his Passover card. However, the Sanhedrin assembly had already considered this and had a backup plan. They hired some Jews to raise their voice to crucify Jesus and then added false accusations against him. They used a lot of money to make this all happen. Thus, they used the Passover to kill Jesus, and the Sanhedrin assembly dreamed of living in peace once this was all over. To list the money they used, first, there was the 30 pieces of silver they gave to Judas Iscariot. Second, they hired the people to arrest Jesus. Third, they paid some Jews to make false accusations about him. Fourth, they bribed Herod and Pilate to get what they wanted. Fifth, they paid the crowd to shout out to crucify Jesus. Sixth, they paid a great deal of money to the soldiers who saw Jesus' resurrection. And seventh, they sprayed money in the build up to killing Jesus. All this money was from the offerings made by the Jews and the diaspora Jews. After this instant, they planned to get rich again with the offerings of the Jews during the next religious festival. Even after Jesus shouted, it is finished, and the curtain of the temple ripped in two, they went at Pilate to sew up the curtain in order to pretend as though nothing had happened. Fourth point. The poor Joseph helped during the birth of Jesus, and then the rich Joseph helped after Jesus' death. In Mark's Gospel, a man named Simon is recorded with regard to the instant of Jesus' cross. Mark also closely recorded Golgotha. Golgotha meant the price of a skull, and here many dead bodies were thrown away. Here Jesus died on the cross. Luke recorded how a captain of a hundred glorified God. The funeral for Jesus was carried out by Joseph of Arimathea. Joseph was a member of the Sanhedrin assembly, but he was a righteous man who waited for the kingdom of God. The people around Jesus, after he died, had no power to give him a funeral. Here, Joseph of Arimathea stood up and asked the Roman governor for his body. The reason he was able to meet the governor was because he was a member of the Sanhedrin assembly. When Jesus was born, he received the help from Joseph and Mary. After the cross, he received the help of Joseph of Arimathea. Indeed, they were wonderful people who served Jesus well. Fifth point. The resurrected Jesus came to his disciples and told them about his second coming. Jesus appeared before the people numerous times after the resurrection. He met with Mary Magdalene who served Jesus most sincerely. She was with Jesus during the whole process of his crucifixion, and she was also one of the first to see Jesus after the resurrection. Jesus also met with his two disciples. Although they had heard of Jesus' resurrection, they did not believe. John's Gospel records how Thomas put his hands on Jesus' wounds to check that it was Jesus. Jesus also met with his eleven disciples when they were eating. He met with them and rebuked them for their little faith. After seeing the resurrected Jesus, the disciples were instructed to spread Jesus' good news. Spreading the news about Jesus is our great commission. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. 
Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.